Hello everyone! Welcome to another daily Minecraft tutorial and today Reverse Steve is going to be showing us how to get shaders for Minecraft version 1.21.3 Reverse Steve, take it away! Thank you! Yeah, so indeed in this video you will learn how to get these shaders onto Minecraft. So, how do you do this? To begin, you have to go in your web browser to go and download something called Iris Shaders. What's Iris Shaders? You'll see. Basically, Iris Shaders is a method, a bit like Optifine, but that will let you get shaders with sodium on Minecraft. Very interesting. So, all you do is Iris Minecraft. Pretty simple. Here you see this is Iris. Indeed it is. You go on Download Now. Here it is. And you see Download Universal Jar. Now, this is quite interesting. If you don't have Java downloaded onto your computer, Make sure to check out in the description, there will be a link to download uh, Java onto Windows and there will also be a video if you need any help with doing so. But anyways, I have Java on my computer, so I'll just do download universal, universal jar. So here it is. Up, it says iris installer. Now, what do you need? Well, you need a shader that you want to use. Uh, for example, I will use BSL shaders. I like BSL, so let me show you how to get that. All you have to do is go on BSL ModVent. Up, there you go. ModVent being a website with a lot of mods, shaders, plugins, and whatnot. So just go on this first link. There you go. Then it'll say download. So click download. It'll say select game version. Just select one. And you'll see 1.20.1. Now, what's important, a bit like Whistle Specs, it doesn't really matter if it's an older update of the shader, it will still work. So you just choose the latest update of whatever shaders you want and click Iris because we will be using Iris. There you go. So now we downloaded BSL right here. All we have to do is close our web browser, then go to the Minecraft launcher as we'll be using Minecraft Java. Wait for that one to load. There you go, starting up. Loading, and there you go. So here it says I have 1.21.3. What you need to do is make sure you have this downloaded when you have a new update. Click play, it will download the file and then it will activate it. But for now, I have played 1.21.3 before, and we'll have to do this. But what you want to do is go to your file explorer, then go to downloads right here, and click on iris installer. I have Java installed, here's the little logo for that. There you go. It says Iris and Sodium. These comes together, no need to add Sodium. Here we have 1.21.3, Iris only. If you want to have some mods, you can add Iris plus Fabric, we'll just do Iris only. And click install. There you go, completed. All you have to do is just make sure to like, you know, close Minecraft, close this, and reopen Minecraft. You know, we want to reload everything, make sure everything is uh, indexed in the file system, so this is how we're going to be doing it. Here it is. Now it says iris and sodium for 1.21.3. How do we add our shaders to it? There is two ways of doing it. We can do it directly from the insertion tab. Let me show you. Up. Here we go to there's a file icon. There's one for every single one of these, but these are all linked. All this goes to the same path. So just click on one of them. Here you'll see a, uh, where is it? Du -du -du. Shader packs. Okay, so all you want to put is go on download, uh, go on BSL, up, copy, up, click this arrow, very useful because it brings you whatever back you were, and then paste it in shader packs. That's the first way of doing it. Now I will delete this because there's another way of doing it. This is the first way of doing it. The second way is by going to Iris. So let's go and open up Iris, up, and it's going to start booting up. It's downloading Iris. No problem. Oh, it's going to full screen Minecraft. So yep. let's make it more simple. There you go. I'll just unfull screen Minecraft. There you go. So here is Minecraft Java fabric because Iris is technically fabric. But not, but it is. So here you have options. Well, 
So when you go to the options and video, you're going to have this. This is sodium. This is simply sodium. But Ivis adds shader packs. So you just go on shader packs. It says no shaders because I don't have any because I deleted it. Well, so all you have to do is open shader pack folder, this one here, and it's going to bring you exactly to where we were last time. All you have to do is go back to downloads, BSL or whatever shader you want to use, copy right here, use this arrow, here it is, use the original file folder, and here it is. All you have to do is just close your file manager and it will show up right here. Just click it and apply. Done, done, done. Now we will go in a single player world and just any one of them, because this case is called tutorials, so there you go. And we should have shader packs just ready to go. Here it is. So here is my shader activated. There you go. And this is quite interesting because when we go to the video settings, shader packs, this one, we don't have another file that should show up. It's a text file. What this one does, it kept it keeps your settings. So for example, if I put this to ultra, not a good idea, but whatever. Um, it should add a new file right here called BSL original text. And this just adds different settings. So, so this will be your settings folder. So every time you update BSL, it will be like BSL 8.4, for example, and you just copy this and just rename it to 8.4. And this will apply the settings to the new BSL version. This is just a little thing. And this is how you can get you know, BSL. There you go. It's 1.20.3 up here. We have sodium right here. And we have, well, shaders, obviously. Uh, there you go.